you've, you've talked too about uh, this idea that it's okay to teach the abstract mm -hmm. or, or to strive toward the abstract. We don't have to have goal-oriented music education right. all the time. Right. Uh, and again, that, that seems like a, a great way to free up imagination. In my world, um, that's where I live, is in that space of abstraction. Almost so much that I almost take it for granted, like that, it's, that I can live in that place and not have to give the explanation, you know? Um, if I even sit, sometimes when I sit at a new piano, like I don't, and I don't know this one that well, then it's just a series of looking for notes. Um, like, and that's it. It's not related to harmony or rhythm, but it's related to certain feelings that maybe each note then tells about its relationship. This note to that note, you know? just keep saying, oh, I don't know, like a few days ago I went flying a kite for the first time since I was maybe six years old. And when the wind takes the kite and pulls the string, that's this right here. That's my relationship with each instrument. It's like, is feeling the wind pull, you know, pull the string and, and I try to make sure I can hold on to it. But also see I'm not sure where the kite's gonna go. Also, the wind takes it, it takes it low, takes it high, sometimes it crashes, you have to reel back in and then start over, you know? And that's total relationship with the instrument. 